In this video, we give an equivalent definition of categories called the arrow theory of categories. This theory shows that it is the morphisms of a category which completely determines its structure. Objects become ornamental because we have identity morphisms which act as proxies. The arrow theory of a category states that a category A consists of arrows denoted by A1 as the data, two operations called source and target denoted S and T, which takes an arrow to an arrow, and a relation called composition on triples of arrows. Again, we write FG equals H for comp GFH. This structure is subject to the following axioms. One, for each arrow F, the target of the source of F is equal to the source of F, and the source of the target of F is equal to the target of F. Two, for each arrow F, F precomposed by the source of F is equal to F, and the target of F precomposed by F is equal to F. Three, for each arrows F, G, and H, if F, G equals H, then the source of H is equal to the source of G, the target of H is equal to the target of F, and the target of G is equal to the source of F. Four, for each arrows F, G, if the target of G is equal to the source of F, then there exists this unique arrow H such that F, G is equal to H. And five, for each arrow F, G, and H, the quantity F, G precomposed by H is equal to F precomposed by the quantity G, H when this arrow is defined. The axioms here correspond to the identity, compatibility, and associative axioms in the object morphism theory of categories. And this is used to prove that the arrow theory of categories and the object morphism theory of categories are in fact equivalent. We sketch such a proof. Given an arrow theoretic model A, define objects F A naught to be the collection of all the sources of all arrows in the category A, and morphisms defined to be the arrows in the category A. And we have the operation domain, which takes a morphism F to the object, the source of F, and we use the brackets to distinguish this from the arrow associated to the source of F, and we also define the codomain to take the morphism F to the object, the source of the target of F. And the identity is defined by taking the object SF to the morphism SF. The relation of composition remains the same. Then it is easy to verify that FA is an object morphism theoretic model of a category. Conversely, given an object morphism theoretic model of a category C, define arrows GC1 to be the morphisms of C, and the source operation to take an arrow F to the identity of the domain of F, and the target to take a morphism F to the identity of the codomain of F. In this case, we also have the same composition relation. Then it is also easy to verify that GC is an arrow theoretic model of a category. Moreover, these are inverse assignments. 